to be again, guys. Listen, I hope everybody's doing good. Um, today, what I'm going to do, I'm, after I get out of work, I'm going to post a, uh, a video up for you guys so you can know exactly how to navigate this excellent site I go to. Uh, this is a site that I've been using for a while. Uh, a lot of you guys may be familiar with it. Uh, it's called Rotex.com. You should see it here in a second. You stay tuned. Um, I know a lot of you guys are just getting out of these trade schools. Uh, you're looking forward to going to work, making that money, buying your truck, buying you a house, going to the. No, no, we're not going to do all that. We're going to be smart with our money, right? That's right. Um, but nevertheless, um, I'm going to post myself, navigate the site. I'm going to make it easy for you. So you won't have no excuse on how this works, okay? I'm going to show you from start to finish how to apply for a job, how to cut and paste or copy and paste uh, an employer's email. Um, yeah, it's going to be fun. So stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. If you blink, you're going to miss something. So I'll see you in a second. All right. Peace out. All right. Let's find a job. On my laptop. Give me a second. We're going to switch over to the screen. All right. And again, this is pretty easy. Road text, R O A D T E C H S dot com. Don't forget the S. But uh, yeah, so we on the site. Scroll over to the side, go to the job search. And I know I'm maybe taking a long time. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I know the basics of, you know, navigating the computer and this, that, and the third, but, you know. Okay, I'm going to type in pipe welder because this is what I'm looking for. This can go for any craft. You just type it in that search engine, press search, click the button, scroll back to the side, scroll all the way down. Okay, and voila, there we have it. You can scroll down for as long as you want. You got jobs popping up. In the red is the state, the location where it's located. Um, as you can see. And again, I know this is this is just a a quick um, somewhat review on how to do this. But again, I'm just trying to point you guys in the right direction. So once you get out of these trade schools, you can go and find yourself a job. So we're going to click on uh, this job here. Oh, actually, we're going to go to the bottom. Let's go to uh, a job I've seen already. A good company. Um, it's going to be a DZ Atlantic. Dan and Zimmerman. There you go. Well, I said Dan, didn't I? <laughs> Day and Zimmerman. I don't know why I've been saying Dan forever. But uh, it's Day and Zimmerman. And uh, we're going to click on it. <clears throat> and here you go. Here goes the information. And you can read through the information they got for you. But again, this is just a real quick how I do it. And there you go. Dan and Zimmerman has an opening for experienced welders. And again, don't worry about experience. I mean, if you have to, I'll tell you what I did when I first started out. You know, I had to fabricate and you know kind of puff up and blow up whatever you want to call it but i had to make it you know where i could get the job because they don't really check these things unless you're going into the nuclear plants and things of that nature it's a little different but nevertheless this is how you do it and look at the bottom here here's the uh, email address well that's one of them well that's the dot com this is the email address here uh let's see Okay, we're going to click this contact information and the email address is right there. Yeah. So what you would do 
you would write down that email address. Not too long ago, you were able to click on it and kind of like copy and paste it, but I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's just my laptop, but you write down that uh, email address. And because what you're going to do, you're going to log in to your Yahoo account, Gmail, whatever you got. And I'm getting ready to show you what I do. And of course, uh, if you can't already tell, this is a voiceover. So I might be a little slower than the video or maybe a little faster than the video in my explaining. But it is what it is. The most important thing is you guys get this and understand how to do it and be successful with it. Okay, so um, that's my Yahoo. All right, click Yahoo. Click, click. All right, I'm in my uh, email. You're going to go to Compose. Click. <laughs> you got to forgive me, I'm a little happy hour just passed. <laughs> but uh yeah so that's my email address right there chris.tanner yahoo.com so where it says two i'm going to type in um resume at dayzimmon.com i believe that's what it was but yeah dayzim.com <clears throat> okay the subject i'm just going to type in anything this is for an example and you guys are going to see something funny here in a second. <laughs> Again, I type this, and I actually push, I press send. So you're going to see this. This is this is funny. Because they actually respond to me in this email right here. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't recognize who I was because I worked for this company plenty of times. But that's another topic on why they didn't recognize who I was. But anyway, yeah, so. Hello, my name is Chris. I'm a super fucking welder. Excuse my French. Uh, and I need a job. <laughs> okay. You might not want to put that, but again, this is just me after a few drinks. Okay. This is, I'm doing a voiceover now. This is a whole nother day. So again, and, uh, all right. Then we get after you put your, this is your subject. So when they look at the email, they're going to look at that first. Then they're going to read what you're putting in the, uh, in the message. So normally you want to be a little more extensive in your describing who you are, a little bit what kind of experience you got. And look, don't be afraid to puff up or blow up yourself, you know, and, and, and say things like super welder because they're going to remember you or say things like expert welder or, or whatever you want to say, whatever you got to do for them to remember you. Because you got to remember, when looking for a job, it's hundreds of people looking for a job. What's going to make you stand out? What's going to make you different? You got to kick up some dust. You got to you got to remember, these people, these HR people, personnel, are in front of their desk. So they live on the Internet. So when they see something to catch their eye, they actually remember you. So, again, so I said, I hope your day is uh, going good. I'm a combo pipe welder with 100 years of experience. So just something funny like that. But, again... You know, however you want to do it, you do it. But one thing's for sure, they did respond to this email. And this is what I was uh, saying a second ago, uh, that you're going to see something funny because they, they actually respond uh, respond to this email. And it wasn't, it wasn't bad. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 100 years of experience under my belt. Um. What else did I put? Okay. All right. So while I'm taking all day to type, um, yeah. Again, this is as easy as one, two, three. And these people, these jobs, these clients, or whoever you're going through or, or writing to, they get back with you quick. And it pays to have a resume. Like I said, it's sometimes you got to fabricate things. You got to kind of blow yourself up. It's all about getting the job. Long as, as long as you're capable of doing a job, listen, don't worry about it. You may have uh, kind of puffed yourself up a little bit on your resume, um, even exaggerated, you know, to a certain extent. 
uh, most of these jobs, uh, I'll tell you, 99% of these jobs do not check your background. Uh, as far as the the work history, unless it's from my experience now, f- unless it's a, a a nuclear plant or some type of high security, and even with the high security, they don't really uh, go and check your job references. Uh, my from my experience, the only people who really checked my job references in the past was the nuclear plants and uh, C B and I. One time I was down in uh, I think it was Mississippi. And uh, they just wanted to, I don't know what was going on, to be honest, but that was the first time out of a long time I've been welded. And, uh, yeah, so as long as you can pass that test, you're good. You be confident. Um, you know, um, know what you're doing. And listen, if you practice like you're supposed to, you'd have nothing to worry about. You know what I mean? So you just... Go for it. Apply for these jobs. And you got to be willing to travel as well. Because a lot of these jobs, these big money jobs, they are uh, abroad. But if you go on this site, roadtex.com, and you see a job in your area, um, grand, that's better for you. But uh, a lot of times you do have to uh, travel and uh, go get that money. But, um, yeah. Yeah. It's taking me forever to type this. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> well, I, I know why, but uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just trying to think of something to say. Minus the uh, the the uh, Cavarsier I was drinking. So uh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, um, this is where it's at. And this is one out of many sites. I believe it's a site called Road Dogs. Um, then you got uh, Indeed. Um, Indeed is a little... Uh, I've been on there a few times. You'll find work, but you might not find it as quick as you'll find it by going on uh, Road Text. Okay, so yeah, at the end of it, yeah, I will attach my resume below. Consider... Uh, no, that was supposed to say. Oh man, I <laughs> look at that. I even messed up the damn message. That's funny. I will attach my resume below for your consideration. Thanks. <laughs> I wrote that backwards, but uh yeah, who cares? Okay. That's the even more funnier that I wrote it backwards and they, they uh, actually respond to me. <laughs> I'll show you that uh message. So the message was sent. And after I sent that message, I realized, whoa, I just sent the crazy message to a job. That was that was uh, that was uh, really, you know, really funny. Uh, the next morning I woke up, I was like, oh, shoot, they actually responded to a email. <laughs> that was crazy. OK, so I'm just showing right here that I actually sent it. And. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much it. That's how it goes. You just send that email. That was at yeah. That was at like eight fifty five p.m. Uh, more of course I'm working out of town, so I got back to my location where I'm staying around about uh, about seven o five, and then I got something to eat, and I jumped on and decided to go ahead and put this video out so you guys could um, go ahead and find work. But yeah, so it's sent. Stay tuned, real quick. Check out the uh, the uh, the email they sent. <laughs>
So hell, they must have looked at the top and said, hello, my name is Chris. I'm a super welder and I need a job. <laughs> yeah, so they probably look at that. They, you know, like I said, going back to what I said, in the, you know, a second ago that, you know, these people, these HR people, they sit in front of the computer all day. And when they can see something memorable, you know, they probably found humor in this whole uh, email I sent. Uh, no telling what they was thinking. They probably was thinking, this guy is really looking for a job. He's probably at the end of the line, and he's just pissed off. Nobody's getting back with him. But, you know, anyway. But, yeah, that's it. Stay tuned to the website, www.christanner.com. Tutorials will be up soon. I know I've been saying that for a little bit. But, again, I'm getting the time, and I'm going to touch every base that I can touch on welding, a full comprehension of uh, this, uh, this, these welding processes and uh, so on and so forth. And, guys, don't forget, mygoldenarm.com. Check out the, the earbuds. You need something under your hood while you're doing that, uh, those welds, those uh, heavy wall welds, and um, just whatever, you know, swimming, shower, whatever. Waterproof, so... It'll do you some good. So, again, check out my sponsors at mygoldenarm.com. And as you can see, you know, the apparel is official. And, uh, yeah, all that stuff is available. So just stay tuned. And uh, I'll see you guys out in the field.